Hello, in this session we will talk about understanding delete statement. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. So SQL stands for Structured Query Language. You use SQL to communicate with relational databases. And there are various commands or statements within this language and some of these statements fall into a group called Data Manipulation Language, which is a subset of SQL. Statements within DML or data manipulation language are used to manipulate data in the database with the exception of the select statement which is used to retrieve data from the database. We have seen select statement where we retrieve data from the database. We have seen insert statement that is used to insert record into a table. We have seen update statement that is used to update existing records in a table and now it's time to take a look at delete a statement which is used to delete records from a table. Before we proceed further I just want to give you another dimension to ponder upon. Select statement could be used with or without a WHERE clause. If you use without a WHERE clause all the records will be retrieved from the given table. Similarly, update statement could be used with or without a WHERE clause. If you use it without the WHERE clause then all the records in a table will be updated. If you use a WHERE clause in a SELECT or UPDATE statement then only those rows will be retrieved or updated that fulfills the criteria of the WHERE clause. In a WHERE clause you can specify one or more criteria. Same thing applies to DELETE statement. It could be used with or without a WHERE clause. It's very dangerous if you write a DELETE statement without a WHERE clause. It will simply delete all the records from a table. So usually delete statement is written with a WHERE clause unless you want to empty the table and usually WHERE clauses are targeted towards the primary key of the tables and this is true for all select, update and delete statements. Insert statement is inserting a record in a table so WHERE clause is not required and it's not allowed in insert statement unless you write a complex insert statement which is inserting something after reading uh, something from a different table, so insert and, up and select could be used together. That is a topic for advanced uh, sessions. But as far as the insert statement is concerned, where clause is not allowed because logically that makes sense. You are inserting a record in a table, all you tell the system is in which table you are inserting. Now, before we look into the delete statement, I just want you to take a look at this dimension as well related to columns. So when you write a select statement, you provide a column list that you want to select from a certain table with or without a WHERE clause. WHERE clause restrict rows and column lists tell the system which columns you want to view. Similarly, when you're inserting a record using insert statement, usually you provide values for all the columns, but you can say, okay, I'm only providing values for five columns, the rest of the columns will be left blank or null will be inserted in those columns. You have to include primary keys when you're inserting. So the bottom line is that columns you have control over which columns you want to select, which columns in which columns you want to insert values. So values will be inserted in all the columns but null will go in the rema remaining columns and when updating you have a full control on which columns you want to update. If let's say a table has 10 columns in your update statement you can say I just want to update values in this column or in these two columns and you can keep all the remaining columns untouched. Now coming to the delete statement you do not have any control over columns because logically that makes sense either you're deleting the full record or you're not deleting a record okay so if you're deleting a full record then all the values in that record will be deleted so uh, in delete statement columns are not allowed keep in mind in insert statement where clause is not allowed and both logically make sense so now let's proceed further to delete statement here you can see my virtual desktop that I'm connected to and this is where I left off in the previous session where we talked about update statement so in order to take a look at delete statement let's go into the teams table so right click on team and click on open content we only have two records in the team table so let's say we have received 
instructions to create another record for team 3. How would you do that? You can easily do it by right clicking on team and click on generate and click on insert statement. And here system has generated a template for insert statement for this table which is in this schema. Okay, And here I can say team 3 is being created and let's call it team 3 and run the statement by clicking on this green button it's run successfully and I can right click on team and click on open content or I can go to the previous window that I used and simply refresh it here I can see team 3 now let's say that I just realized this instructions was not valid and I was not supposed to create team 3 and now I want to delete it. How do I delete a record? Deleting is pretty simple. Let's open a new SQL editor, right click on tables node and choose SQL editor. Here I can write my delete command. So this is how delete command goes. Delete keyword first and we don't have a column list because as I already explained either you delete the whole record or you don't delete a record so you can't say delete all columns or delete ID and name column this is not required so you simply delete from which table you want to delete from I want to delete from team table so this is a valid delete statement but the problem is that although technically this is valid but if I run this command the whole table will be deleted uh, emptied deleted is not the right word for the table whole table will be emptied all the records from this table will be deleted if you want to remove the table itself then we have a drop command for that and that is not part of DML it is more of a DDL data definition language we'll talk about that later okay so what do I do I need to put a where clause where and some condition if I go back to this previous window I want to delete this third record and the best way to reference a record is by the primary key I can technically say where name equal to team 3 but usually this is not very safe because uniqueness is guaranteed by the primary key there might be two teams with the same name there might be two people by the same first name and so on so there could be other columns than primary keys where uniqueness is almost guaranteed but it's best practice to refer to a record by the primary key if I run this statement by clicking on this green icon and let's go back to the window displaying us the records in team table let's refresh this window now you can see record 3 is disappeared if foreign keys are enforced in a database then system protects you deleting records which are referenced in other columns so what does that mean we have a record here for team 1 what will happen if I delete this record logically something will not make sense if I go back to student and right click on it on the student table and choose open content here you can see all the students belong to team 1 and which is the team 1 and what are the attributes of team 1 for that you will go to the teams table and you can see okay team 1 is this this is the name of team 1 which is team 1 itself and there could be other attributes as well so this record here team 1 is referenced in a student table so logically I should not be able to delete team 1 because it is referenced elsewhere if I delete team 1 then this will not logically make sense 001 ID referred here but if this ID doesn't exist in team 1 then this doesn't make sense okay so foreign key protects all this we don't have a foreign key in uh, in the system created so we don't have a foreign key on team ID column referencing to the ID column of the team table so 
technically I should be able to delete all the records from the team table. So let's do that. Let's go back to the SQL editor that I opened. Let's choose any of the SQL editor that is opened here. So let's say delete from team. Notice that I haven't placed a WHERE clause here. If I run this statement, what will happen? It is run successfully. And if I go back to the window displaying me the team tables record, and if I refresh it, I don't see anything. Okay? And now, in a student table, this 001 doesn't make sense. So logically, the data is incorrect. Okay, so I'm, I will just insert one team back using the SQL editor. The best way would be to generate an insert statement. But even if I don't want to generate an insert statement, I can write my own insert statement. Insert into team and I can specify in which columns I'm inserting values and then I can specify values. So this is a valid insert statement. We'll find out soon by running it. Actually I said that too early. The values keyword is missing. Insert into team, column names, values, and list of values. So okay now it's a true uh, valid insert statement if I go back to the window displaying me the team's data and I refresh it I will see one line inserted here using this insert statement